If I could do a Day of the Dead craft and this is what I came up with. Most of these items came from the Dollar Tree except for the little sign. That came from Dollar General. It still only cost a dollar. Stay tuned. I'll show you how to make it. So let me apologize for my sniffling and my, my croaky voice here. I'm sick today and I got tired of laying on my couch being sick so I thought hey I gotta get up and do something so let me make another video. For this one of course I'm using a 14 inch Wreath four from the Dollar Tree, and I found this awesome sign at Dollar General. They had this one and another style. It was pink, and whoopsie, they only cost a dollar. So how cool is that? You're going to need that, and I'm estimating right now four rolls of white mesh. After I put the wreath together, I'll come back and I'll tell you exactly how much I used. But I'm thinking four is going to be enough for this. Four rolls of white mesh. I have one roll of pink one of blue and one of purple of course this sign has a lot of different colors in it you can use any color of mesh you want any color of flower or ribbon you want this is just what i'm going to be using for mine so i'm going to set that out of the way i also have some matching ribbon pink blue and purple from the dollar tree i'm not going to use any wired ribbon in this one because i think just this and the flower is going to be plenty i have my hot glue gun and glue sticks and some artificial flowers from dollar tree as well and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making these little i call them blossoms the colored ones are going to have ribbon and a flower on it and then in between the colored ones we're going to have plain ones that's just two bundles of mesh with no ribbon and no flowers so i'm going to set this off to the side you're also going to need some pipe cleaners <clears throat> excuse me so what i have done here is i have taken my mesh and i've cut it to 30 inches I took my white mesh and cut it to 30 inches as well. And then I took my purple ribbon, because this is purple, I took my purple ribbon and I measured it against a roll of mesh. This is six inches. And I measured my ribbon to one and a half lengths. So one and a half. This is six inches, which gives you a nine inch piece of ribbon. And you know, you would think that I could eyeball my ribbon a little bit better than what I do instead of having to measure it every time, but you know, if my ex-husband hadn't spent 13 years of my life lying to me about what nine inches looks like, then um, maybe my, my visual measurements would be a little bit more on par. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut a V, a dovetail, yes, I know what it's called, onto the end of the ribbon, and we'll lay that off to the side. Now, I wanted the majority of this wreath to be white with just like little bursts of color here and there. So, to make my first little bundle, let me get a pipe cleaner. And we're going to bend that in half. I'm going to take the colored piece, a 30 inch piece of the colored mesh, and lay it with a short end facing me and my thumbs in the middle. And I'm just going to take my fingers and just scrunch it up all together into a little bundle. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to hold that between my fingers and then take my piece of ribbon with the pretty shiny side facing my fingertips. I'm just going to lay it on top just like that. And I'm going to take my pipe cleaner, just put everything right in the middle there. Let me just lay it down. I'm just going to twist it together. And there's part of our little bundle here. Just move your ribbon around, get it into place. Now I want the colored part to be on top. So there is part of our bundle. Now I'm going to take a 30 inch piece of my white mesh and I'm going to do the exact same thing just going to lay it down and just scrunch it up like this. It's grabbing onto everything. Okay, now we've got that. And we'll take my other piece of ribbon and lay it on top just like that. And then I'm going to take my purple piece, take my white piece and lay that down across it like that, crisscross. And I'm just going to really tighten it down with my pipe cleaner here. And there is our little bundle. Our blossom. Now we need to glue a flower to the center of it. And for that, like I said, I got this at the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to pop it off the stem. And I want to take this green plastic part off. 
And I'm going to trim off the stem on the back of the flower. I'm just going to put a little dotted glue there and let's glue our flower down, our leaves rather, glue our leaves down. Now I'm going to put another little dot of glue right there, or a blob. I won't say that's a dot, that's a blob. I got my purple mesh and my purple ribbon and a purple flower. I'm just going to layer it all together. Now I'm going to set this off to the side and let my glue set up, because it's, it's a mite runny. And this is what our blossoms look like. There's our pipe cleaner on the back. Okay, now ah, I want to take my wreath form and I'm only using the two center rings right here. So I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner and wrap it around. See, one piece goes under that one and then this end is gonna go over that one. And then we'll flip around so y'all can see. It's gonna give it a good twist and tighten it down like that. There we go. Now I'm going to take my plain white one here, it looks like this, and I'm going to put it beside of it. Like this. Yes, I'm going to cut the tag off of my wreath form here just in a minute. I don't leave it on there. Tighten this down like this. Okay, I'll go back and trim the ends of my pipe cleaners off later. I'm just going to kind of lift this up a little bit and just scooch this over so that the colored one, the one with the flower, overlaps it just a little bit. The plain ones I use kind of just like a filler because I don't want every single one of them to have a flower and ribbon because then it just looks way too bunched up and that's, that's not the look that I'm going for with this. Once you get all of your bundles put on, you're not really going to see your pipe cleaner. Just scrunch it up a little bit, squeeze them together, and you're not really going to see it, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and I want to make some more of these bundles using my purple mesh and the blue mesh and my other flowers. And I'll get it all put on there and then I'll come back and I'll show you how many of each bundle I used and how many rolls of mesh I used. So my wreath is filled up and this is what I have so far. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine clusters with my flowers, and I believe it's nine clusters without. I, it's hard to count those because they're all smashed up. But anyway, you just space them out until it looks the way you want it to look. There, there's no set number that you need to have here. But for mine, I don't know why I was thinking that four rolls of white mesh was going to be enough. I used six, and I have this much left over on my six roll. So I used six rolls of white mesh, one roll of each of my colors. And as you can see, I have a good amount left on the spools and I have a lot left of my ribbon. You can see I did not use all of the ribbon. So now the only thing left to do is to attach our sign and it's really lightweight. So all I did was just to hot glue two bent pipe cleaners to it. And I'm just going to, hold on, I'm going to stand up, get off my chair. I'm just going to decide where I want to put it. And I'm going to do it just like I do all of my other wreaths. I'm just going to take my pipe cleaners and just try to find a good space in between your mesh here. And then just run the pipe cleaners down between your mesh and fasten it to your wreath form. And I don't ever tighten mine down really tightly until I get the sign right where I want it. So I'm just I'm just twisting the ends of the pipe cleaner together in the back here. I'm pretty happy with this one. I wanted it to be mostly white and not a whole lot of color because you know I wanted the focus to be on the sign and not you know everything else all around it. So I'm pretty happy with it. So now I'm gonna do this side and then we'll be done. So I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, please, or even if you didn't, still give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Just hit the thumbs up, click subscribe, and please check me out on other forms of social media. I'll have the links to all of those in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.